future multi-mission frigates known as 30 FFM are starting to take shape at two shipyards in Japan. Images and videos obtained by naval news from local ship spotters show the hulls at an advanced stage of construction. Both hulls should be ready for launch before the end of the year. 30 FFM is the next generation multi-emission frigate designed for the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. A total number of 22 frigates are expected to be procured for the JMSDF. The two shipyards in charge of building the first two frigates of the class are Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in Nagasaki and Mitsui Engineering and Shipbuilding in Okayama. In this footage taken in mid-August, you can see the first frigate under construction at MHI berth number 2 in Nagasaki. More recent footage from late August and early September show the structure for the integrate mast in place. In these pictures shared on Twitter, you are seeing the second frigate under construction at Mitsui Shipyard in Okoyama. According to MHI, the 30 FFM frigate will have a full load displacement of about 5,500 tons with a length of 132 meters and a beam of 16 meters. It will have a maximum speed in excess of 30 knots. The crew complement will be quite low at about 90 sailors, indicating a high level of automation on board. For more details about the 30 FFM, here's an interview which Naval News recorded last year during the Sea Airspace Defense Show with Atsui Yoshioka, Senior Project Manager of the Next Generation Surface Ship Project at MHI. What is this uh, new project? Uh, this is uh, Japanese Navy's uh, JMSDF's uh, new frigate project, uh, started uh, two years ago. This is our prototype uh, model proposed to our Navy. Is the design finalized and are you starting to build it already? Yes, uh, last, last October we got the contract for production of two frigates, so we are now in detailed design stage and going to a production a design stage. And we'll start uh, steel cutting uh, this September, yes. And delivery of the ship to JMSDF is expected from for, where, for uh, when? Yes, uh, delivery is expected March 20, uh, 2022, yeah, about uh, three and a half years later. What are the main features of the design? Our main key feature is, uh, you can see uh, this hull structure itself. This is a very low uh, radar cross-section uh, design and also uh, uh, needs uh, some speed, more than 30 knots. So we uh, propose a Kodak system, combined diesel and gas turbine propulsion, uh, one uh, gas turbine and two diesel uh, type. And also uh, our Navy requested us uh, very size of crew, around 90 uh, crew size. So we uh, propose a 360 degree circular CIC, so they can do anything in CIC other than uh, combat management. They can do a, a machinery and electric plant uh, control, damage control, XCOM controls, uh, such on. Uh, to come back to the CIC, what are the main benefits of uh, 360 degrees CIC? Yes, as I said, uh, they can do anything in CIC. So usually they have uh, two or four displays for combat system management. But they should do uh, damage control, uh, machinery control, extra control. So we put a, a 360 degree uh, all around view video walls so that uh, they can display anything they want to see. So using uh, cruising, they can use uh, that, uh, you can, they can see uh, outside, you know, information. And if uh, damage happens, they can switch to the damage control displays. When uh, under, com uh, under combat operations, they can switch to uh, usual, you know, combat system uh, displays. In addition, this ship design 
is the first major surface combatant that Japan is actively promoting for export. OPV and destroyer variants based on the 30FFM were unveiled during Pacific 2019 last year in Australia. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries of Japan is showcasing two new designs based on their 30FFM frigate design program. The 30FFM, as you may know, is the future generation of frigates for the JMSDF, the Japanese Navy. So the two new designs are air defense destroyer and an OPV, again based on the frigate. Based on this future multi-mission frigate concept, we are now initiating this type of uh, anti-air warfare destroyers and also for uh, smaller uh, OPV for our navies and also uh, for foreign customers for maritime patrol vessels. This has the same uh, features of a future multi-mission frigate. They have a very low radar cross section and automated damage controls and uh, uh, concentrated uh, control systems. And also has a lot of uh, uh, multi-mission hangars and multi-mission bays. And, and also, our ship, shipyard has a capability to uh, build these type of ships maybe as in, within three years, the very shortest uh, timeline. And also, it has a same uh, equipment and a similar system, so uh, life, you can enjoy a very low life cycle cost. This is a uh, full displacement is about uh, 5,000 ton, and this is about 2,000, over 2,000, and this is about uh, 10,000 as a full displacement. Well, uh, maybe this AW has a circular you know, CIC, but this is a cheaper, you know, uh, ship, so uh, you, you don't, we, we don't, we don't think it, it needs a circular CIC. This September we started steel cuttings already, and uh, next year, uh, April, we start uh, fabrications, and also, uh, yeah, skilling, yeah, lay killing, and uh, November next year, uh, launching ceremonies and after one and a half years later, uh, April 20, 2022, we will deliver two frigates to our customers.